Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been six months since I bought my PS5 Scuff Reflex FPS controller. Let me tell you, I have a lot of pros and a lot of cons. Um, we'll talk. We'll get to those cons a little later in the video. But um, let's first talk about some of the features that I really do uh, love and I really do gravitate when I'm um, looking for a pro controller. So let's get into it. Like I mentioned, it's been six months since I had this controller, so I feel like I am ready to give you a review because you know I've tested it. You know, on racing games, uh, first-person shooters for sure um you know rpg games so i do feel like i do have an idea whether or not you should purchase this controller um so first let's talk about some of the features that i really do enjoy uh with this controller that a lot of pro controllers don't don't even have to be honest so let's talk about the triggers first so the triggers is a selling point for me you know um you know, it's not something new you know battle beaver aim you know a lot of other controllers offer this technology but um i feel like it feels a little bit better you know with the scuff controller i have not had any issues with the instant triggers for those who don't know what instant triggers are they basically replicate uh the same you know feeling as a mouse click so it, it's gonna it's gonna sound exactly like a mouse click once you hit it, it's gonna feel like a mouse click um basically what this technology allows you to do is get an advantage against you know uh, another player and then you know the pros of the instant triggers is uh you get you know you get at that advantage and you get to you know aim quickly and shoot a lot faster than your enemy so that's definitely a pro especially if you're a pro player and you know you feel like you need to be on top of your game and you want to get you know the advantage of every enemy that you're trying to get you know especially trying to get those nukes you know in call of duty you try and get that 40 bomb on war zone uh you know you need those instant triggers so you know moving forward um i have not had any issues with the you know with the instant triggers i've heard a lot on reddit that people were having you know uh you know their triggers were failing and stuff like that i have not ran into anything they don't feel flimsy at all um I, they feel actually very nice you know and i feel like most of the time i'm playing first person shooters so i am putting it through its test man i am testing the shit out of this you know especially me uh, i do go through controllers <laughs> uh but um overall triggers a1 you have not had an issue with that that being said there's other issues with this controller that i'll get to a little later in the review but another feature that i really love about this controller are going to be the paddles in the back the paddles in the back feel very high quality everything from how they feel to the clicks it just feels like scuff put a lot of money in r d uh, in developing these paddles because it feels very nice to the touch and it's probably the best paddle system i've ever used in a pro controller uh, their previous pro controller for the i think it was called the the ps4 infinity or fps something like that their paddles sucked i went through so many paddles i probably ordered maybe 10 times some scuff uh some scuff replacement paddles so that says a lot definitely a huge upgrade from the past so now with these paddles you have a profile system that allows you to switch up to three profiles so for example i have my first profile set for first person shooters i have my second profile set for racing games and i have my third profile set for rpg games and this is so convenient and it just allows that ease to switch between games uh this is a feature i really love and it's a such an upgrade compared to the infinity 4 fps where that controller you have to use a key fob in the back attach that key fob in the back uh, and then you'll be able to switch those paddles to whatever button you wanted to so it was just an annoying system so now there this is just so convenient you know just pressing one button that would allow you to switch between profiles it's just it's amazing um and i love that feature and also you know the four paddles in the back is such a plus guys i love the four paddles it's something i can't live without and it's very sad that dual sense it's only coming out with two paddles um hopefully in the future they can release maybe even a, a dual sense pro controller that allows you you know to um allow that to be an option you know four paddles is what a lot of people use out there and another feature that i really love about this controller is going to be the texture grip the texture grip feels very high quality as well um you know it, it just feels very grippy there's no way uh this controller is going to slip out of your hands and it does just reinforce that grip um, especially if you're playing cod it just feels nice your you know your controller isn't going anywhere uh the texture just feel it just feels high quality and, and if you're someone who appreciates you know a nice grip uh, i'm gonna tell you man this is this is the best grip you can get <laughs> i'm telling you right now uh it feels very nice so this is that's a selling feature for me because um you know my hands do get clammy after playing uh for a long time uh my hands start to sweat a little bit and you know the more i sweat for some reason the grip just gets stronger so i don't know what kind of technology it is it does feel rubbery but it's probably mixed with a little bit of something else um, um but that's the grip is amazing okay 
and you know there was nothing wrong with the ps4 scuff grip either uh they allowed you to pick between a regular rubber grip or even this weird texture grip i have here that's very high quality as well this is probably my second favorite grip uh out of all the pro controllers i've tested um you know so this is something scuff just has down and then whichever grip you want to go with whether it's this weird texture grip or the rubber grip it's going to provide the same result guys so uh, whichever one you want to opt out for it's it's up to you but either way you're going to be good on the grip side and also do want to mention that the ps5 controller does come with a high quality usb type c cable uh that's something that they didn't offer previously for the old gen ps4 controller it didn't even come with the cable guys so now you're getting a cable and it's a nice cable guys it feels nice in the hand very high quality so that's I just wanted to mention that. I also want to mention something else before we dive into the negatives of this controller is that it's very easy to swap sticks. All you do is remove the bottom shell of your controller and then all you do is just pull on those thumbsticks and that's it. And then to replace it, all you do is get your higher concave or smaller concave or uh, whatever kind of stick you want to put on there that's a uh, scuff. Okay, you can't put just random sticks. You got to put scuff sticks on there and all you do is just attach it. That's it. And you press it in and boom voila you it's back in there and you just put the shell back in very easy to swap sticks um but it's something that i do love that uh dual sense is doing um i know you guys probably know you're allowed to swap out the full stick modular so um that's a, such a plus man being able to swap the full uh thumbstick because the stick drift is inevitable and it's something that everyone's going to deal with eventually at some point in time with their con brand new controller so sadly it's just something that happens over time it's wear and tear and uh it's very cool that the dual sense is offering that technology and i just wish scuff would offer the same tech just being able to swap the full stick modular it, it would just save a lot of people's time and money guys time and money so that's something i do want to mention even though you could swap it yourself um i've seen videos on the internet it's just it just takes time and i've seen a lot of people fuck up their controllers when they do it themselves uh so i just wish scuff would just think of this idea especially when a controller costs 300 dollars and then you have sony doing it for 200 um so just something to think about and moving forward so let's get into the negatives guys because i've had a lot of issues with this controller and let's talk about them <laughs> okay let's talk about them so uh, i got my controller you know i was playing for one month um the way i play is i play wired with my pc most of the time so one month later i'm like hey i'm gonna try this with my ps5 uh so i connected to the ps5 actually it didn't connect to my ps5 because the controller wouldn't turn on so i'm like why why isn't my controller uh, uh, uh turning on so i plug it into the wall um and it's charging i let it charge for about an hour i come back and then i try to turn on the controller and it's not turning on so the only way this controller would stay on would be with wire so i had to have it wired for it to even turn on um so right there there is probably an issue um you know i probably should have just opened it um and just probably connected something i feel like something just wasn't connected properly uh but i sent it in to because you know i had that warranty so i'm like yo i have this warranty i'm gonna use it uh since i have it right now so i sent it into scuff and guess what guys it took them two months to send back my controller so that's absolute garbage customer service right there two months to get your controller back uh that is very annoying i was very frustrated through the process because if i knew i would open up my own controller and probably fixed it myself if they were going to take two months uh to send it back so i definitely regret that but after three months of having my controller sent back to me <clears throat> um uh, i ran into another issue so <laughs> i was having stick drift problems but not just not regular stick drift it was like crazy uh stick drift so i would just barely move my right analog stick to the right and then my player would do a full 180 or a full one uh, uh a 360 guys full 180 or 360 um and so i was just like you know what i'm not gonna send my controller in uh even though i still have the warranty i'm like i'm not gonna send it i'm gonna open it and fix it myself so you know i opened it i cleaned up the stick modular um you know for any dust i read online because sometimes dust gets in there and then it, it can just create stick drift so i clean it up and it, it started to work um and then fast forward to two weeks ago my controller gets the same problem i open it up again i clean it up but this time it's not working uh so i'm stuck with this like right analog stick that works when it wants to actually because sometimes i'll connect it and it'll work fine for like the first 10 minutes and then I, and then after that i'll just start going 180 and 360 spinning all over uh it's just a very annoying um i mean it's just very annoying having to deal with 
uh so many issues with the controller i'm telling you guys like i said the, the i haven't had issues with the instant triggers or the paddles in the back or any of the buttons but definitely with the stick module the right stick analog sticks and you know the controller not be able to hold a charge it's just it's just very 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 shitty customer uh service guys and i wish i wish they were just shit together man and right now i'm just really upset with this issue but overall man i think scuff does provide you with a decent controller a very nice feeling controller it feels like high quality but at the same time they're just sprinkling a bunch of glitter on top of shit that's what i feel like right um you know it's just it's very confusing it, it, it feels nice it feels premium but it just if quality control isn't there and you're gonna have your controller break down within a month three months it's just bro you're paying 300 dollars for this like like listen to your customers there's reddit tons of reddit threads tons of freaking uh 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 you know a bunch of reviews out there that complain about their quality control and they still can't get their shit together uh, so corsier scuff please do something about this it's not fair to sell a shitty product uh to your customers knowing that it's gonna break a month or three months in um after the warranty is over that is bullshit man that is ah, bro it's infuriating but uh overall the controller for its features and what it offers is something i need um so i would definitely still i would i'm definitely gonna end up buying probably another one of these if they can't fix it uh just because i love the features i love how it feels and it's definitely it feels premium guys it feels premium and if you need a controller with four paddles a playstation controller with four paddles with instant triggers uh you know it, it, it scuffs a great recommendation but just know that quality control isn't going to be there whether you go with aim or any other company it's just not going to be there um and hopefully you're one of the lucky ones man it doesn't have an issue like the only issue i had with my previous infinity 4 fps was literally the paddles in the back that kept breaking because i kept smacking the shit out of them so um that's the only issue i had with that controller so maybe it was just this one but i know i do see on reddit i do see a lot of people in the comments complaining about the scuff uh not being too reliable so um for if i had to recommend something right now let's say wait for youtubers reviews on the dual sense controller wait for my review guys uh, if you guys want to see that review make sure to like and subscribe guys subscribe to this channel to see that review i'm gonna put it out as fast as i can i'm gonna do a full detailed review of the dual sense controller so make sure you're uh you know you're subscribed so you can get that video notification guys and also uh if i had to recommend something so this is what i'm gonna do if you are on ps4 or on pc i am gonna recommend you to get this kit called extreme rate kit uh this is a kit that allows you to customize your controller there's a tons of youtube videos out there that you can watch that will go through the process with you it's very e easy to install actually to install the triggers in the back uh install the instant triggers um the instant triggers the the paddles in the back uh it's it's a very easy installation it just takes a little bit of time since you've never probably done something uh so maybe probably haven't done anything like this before it might take you maybe an hour or two but you know the result is amazing i did this with one of my older controllers um that i used for over a year and the only problem i had with that controller was a little bit of stick drift uh so it's not really a problem that's more just of a ps4 problem just a regular controller problem you know stick drift is inevitable it's going to come uh sooner or later so uh, I do recommend you to get these kits. You get a kit for the PS5. They're available for the PS5, so I definitely look into that. Um, I've seen videos on the PS5. I'm thinking of uh, actually doing it for my PS5 controller um, and installing the back paddles and the instant triggers. So I might do that. Maybe a video on that. But there's tons already that you can watch. Tons of tutorials, guys. You know, it's a very easy process. I would recommend that. And each kit's like 40 bucks. Uh, the instant kit is like uh, for the instant triggers, 15 bucks. So total, you're looking at spending 55 for a custom controller 55 for a custom controller it, it, that's that's the best you can do for if you're really trying to save money uh you could do that with the, either the ps5 or the ps4 controller um it's really up to you that's an option i would recommend that actually and so um and also you can also do if you're on the the uh, the the ps4 
controlling you're on pc um <laughs> something that i'm telling you guys i've done a lot of shit with my controllers i've done some crazy uh diy stuff so i'm gonna show you this controller right here so what i did i bought the paddles the sony paddles installed it to this controller i opened up the controller i you know did a little customization with the with the analog sticks you know i got the metal analog sticks the metal bullets buttons i got the d-pad the red metal d-pad uh, and then also guys this is ghetto as hell um very ghetto but it worked it's like the you know where you insert the the other end of the zip tied i clipped that part off i then got gorilla glue and crazy glue and glued them behind the triggers um that way it would reduce the range of motion of the trigger that way i could shoot a lot faster <laughs> this looks very ghetto but i'm telling you guys i've done a lot of stuff with my controllers um i wish i could show you my extreme rate controller that i, I built but i gave that away to one of my friends uh, i don't have it with me anymore but uh, i'm telling you guys extreme rate it's a good way to save some money um i, I don't recommend you to do this diy stuff for your ps4 controller because you might you might mess it up a little bit like you see all the crazy glue it just ruined the trigger it's just due to a controller you don't give a fuck about if you really want to go this route <laughs> um but um guys uh my recommendation is wait for the dual sense see what's up but if you really want four paddle controller with high quality you know buttons and triggers and instant triggers the scuff is a great option guys it's a great option and hopefully you get a good uh you get lucky and you get a good controller so um that's that's that man so i'm gonna recommend the scuff if you want a four paddle controller uh, i'm also gonna recommend the extreme rate kit if you're on a budget and um if you really want to go the diy part you can do that guys uh but extreme rate kit guys look into that i'm probably gonna make a video of that if you guys want to see that like and subscribe uh, if you guys want to see that video let's see uh if this video gets um over 100 likes i will do a, a diy with the extreme rate kit uh go through step by step by step process and install it on the ps5 controller and then you know post some games with it you know <laughs> uh and yeah um, hope you guys like this video and remember to like and subscribe guys so you guys want to see that dual sense uh dual edge controller um and yeah appreciate all the love lady guys and see you guys on the next one peace